So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Matt and in this video we'll be going over the higher GCSE topic of histograms with a focus on some difficult exam style questions and by difficult exam style questions this basically involves being asked to find values from the histogram that are either more than or less than a particular value, finding the median, finding the interquartile range and finding percentages and fractions of frequencies. Now there will be a copy of the example questions that we go through in this video for you to download by clicking on the link in the description. So in this video what we'll do is we'll look at some more contextual questions and problems relating to histograms where we're either finding frequencies and they could be in the form of percentages or writing as fractions, finding the median and finding the interquartile range. So let's just go straight into question one. So question one if I just slightly zoom out so we can fit it on the screen. And it says that here we've got the maths GCSE test results of 280 students are shown in the histogram below and we need to find the median score and the lower quartile of the scores. So looking at this, what the first thing we want to do is to first find how many students we've got in total, which has been given to us. We know that there's 280. And what we then want to do, so I'll just write down the steps. So we want to find the total if we know that already. We find the grand total. Now, if that wasn't given, then what you'll need to do is to find the frequencies of each bar, which is what we're going to do now. So find the frequencies of each bar. In other words, what we're going to do is find the area. Now, you don't have to do it this way, but basically the median score is going to be the 140th student. So we just need to find where would that 140th student were if they were all stood in a line in order of what they scored on their test. So looking at this first box here, we've got, and that works out to be 2.6 multiplied by the class width, which is 10. So that's going to be 26. So there's 26 people that in the, in the start of the queue, that's between 80 and 90. For the next one, we get 3.4 and that's again multiplied by 10. So there's going to be 34. So as a running total, um, just write 34 students. It's really important that you do divide that grand total by two. And so then third step is then divide the total by two. And this will give you basically the position of the median. And which is in this case is 140. So from this, we can then work out the third one, which is going to be times 20, and that's going to be 5 times 20, so that's going to be 100. So we definitely know that from 26, then it's going to be 60, then it's 160 that have scored less than 120, or between 80 and 120. So we know that the 140th person is going to be in this third block here so this is where the median is now if the question was what group does the median person lie in then we could say confidently it's between 100 and 120 but because this is a high GCSE topic we need to go into more detail so from this we know that there are 100 people in this and what we are needing is we are needing another 80 more people so we want 80 more students so four let me just write that there so four uh, or to find, I should say, to find the 140th student, we need the first 80, um, no, it's going to be 40 plus uh, 40, first 80th, 80 students from this block so we've got 100 in there but we need to know where the 80th student is so for this what we need to do is from that block we need to split this class width so we're going to split the class width by how many students we've got so we've got the uh, so it's going to be the class width divided by the area of the bar which in this case is 100 so we've got 20 divided by 100 and that's going to give me uh, 0 0.5. No, it's not going to give me 0 0.2. And there we go. So each 0 0.2 represents 
one of those people um so in each slither so from this what we then need to, need to do because we need 80 of the students we're going to multiply that by 80 and 0 0.2 times 80 gives me an answer of 16 so what i then need to do is add 16 to 100 so it's going to be 100 plus 16 which gives me an answer of 116 so i just need to add so where i've got that 16 it's plus 16 from there and 100 plus 16 is 116 then to find the lower quarter what we need to then do is to find the 25th position so for this we're going to do 0 0.25 times the grand total which is 280 and if i do that on my calculator or i could just divide it by four it gives me 70 so i need to find the 70th student so what i've got is i've got 26 in the first block 34 in the next one so that's 60 so i need another 10 students from this third block starting from the left so it's going to be um 0 0.2 times and again because i've got 60 here i need another 10 so that's going to multiply that by 10 so that's going to give me an answer of 2 so then it's going to be 100 plus 2 so it's going to be 102 and that's going to be their score the lower quartile is going to be 102 so this is the answer for part a and this is the answer for part b so now let's have a look at question two. So question two says here is a histogram showing the times taken to complete a task. Estimate the percentage of people who took less than 40 seconds to complete the task and give your answer to one decimal place. So let's just first of all highlight what it is. So we need to give our answer as a percentage and we're working out the percentage of people who took less than 40 seconds. So if I find 40, which is this bit here, and because I first of all I need to work out how many numbers there are in total. So for this, we need so the percentage of what I need to do is the number of people less than 40 divided by the total number of people. And because I want a percentage, I need to multiply that by 100. So I need to find this top and this bottom thing. So for these, all I'm going to do is work out the area of each bar. So the class width times the frequency. So this is going to be 40 multiplied by 10. So that's going to give me 400 people in there. That little box. This one is going to be 10 times 30, which is 300. Then this whole box, let me just get rid of that line so it's not distracting me there. So this is going to be 25 times the class width which is 20 so 25 times 20 gives me an answer of 500 and then this little box here is going to be 5 times 15 which gives me an answer of 75 so looking at the grand totals let me just use the different colors so here the grand total it's all of those numbers added up, so it's 400 plus 300 plus 500 plus 75. So we've got 400 plus 300 plus 500 plus 75 it gives me a total of 125, 1275 rather. So now what I need to do is work out how many people are less than 40 seconds. So for this, if I just get rid of this first, I know there's 500 in that box. Let me just write that above. So for 400, for less than 40, I need to work out, that should be straight, uh, this area here. Now to work out that area, all I've got to do is do the class width, which in this case now is 15, times the frequency density, which is 25. So it's going to be 15 times 25, which is 375. So this area here, although had a total of 500, collectively this small bit this red bit here has got is 375 so to work out the number of people that are less than 40 we need to add the first block which is 400 plus the second block 
plus the proportion of the third block which I've worked out which is 375 and that comes up to a total of 1075. So then using this formula here, I just move that across there. So the final answer is going to be 1075 divided by 1275, multiply that by 100. And if I type that into my calculator, I get an answer of 84.3%. And there we go. Now with question three, it says here is a histogram, uh, the times taken to complete a task. Estimate the percentage of people who took less than 30 seconds to complete the task. Give your answer to one decimal place. So very, very similar to the previous question. So the first thing we want to do is work out the grand total. So if I just write grand total, and what I'm going to do is going to work out the area of each bar. So this one's going to be 40 times the class width, which is 10. So that's going to give me 400. The next one is going to be 10 times 35 so that's going to be 350. This second block is going to be 20 times 20 which is 400 and this little box here is going to be 10 times 5 which is 50. So the grand total is going to be all of those added up so 400 plus 350 plus 400 plus 50 so that's 800 plus another 400 which is 1200 so now what we need to do is work out how many were less than 30 so if i mark where 30 is it's here less than 30 is this area here all of this second block and all of this first block so from this we know so less than 30 seconds so for that it's going to be 400 plus 350 and i need to work out what this little block here is going to be so that's going to be plus and now the class width is five and the frequency density is 20 so that's going to be 100 so we've got 500 so that's going to be 850. so then to work out the percentage so the final answer is going to be 850 divided by one, two, zero, zero, multiply that by 100. And then we just need to write that as a decimal. So 850 divided by one, two, zero, zero, times by 100. And that gives me an answer of 70.8%. And that's to one decimal place. So then moving on to question four, it says 44 students completed some homework and a histogram shows information about the times taken. And the question is asking us to work out the estimate of the interquartile range and you must show your working out of the lower and the upper quartiles. So for this, what we need to first of all do is work out the total number of students. Now in this question, it's not a case of working out the total of each bar because it actually tells us that the total is 44. Now, to work out the position of the lower quartile, if I then do 0 0.25 multiplied by 44, that gives me 11. And if I do the upper quartile, that's going to be 0 0.75 times 44, that gives me 33. So what I need to do is I need to find the where the position of the 11th and the 33rd person is going to be. So for this, what I need to do is to work out the frequencies of each of the bars until I get to 11. So for this first bar, it's going to be 1.4 times 5, which gives me an answer of 7. Then I've got 10 times 0.8, which equals 8. Now, if I add those two bars together, I'm going to get 15. So I know that 11, the 11th person is definitely going to be within 5 and 12, uh, 5 and 15 rather. Now, what I'm needing is the fourth person in this group. So from this, what I now need to do to find the lower quartile is to find the a split this bar into eight sections. Now, the best way to do that is to split each that, that up is going to be to do the width, which is 10, divided by the number of people, which is eight. And so this here is the class width. This is the frequency. And 10 divided by 8 
gives me an answer of 1.25. So each person is going to be 1.25 from 5. Now, because I'm wanting the 11th person, I've got 7 already, I need the 4th person. So what I'm needing is for the lower quartile, I need for the first 4 people in the second bar. So for this, I need to do 1.25, multiply that by 4, and if I do 1.25 times 4, it gives me 5. So it's going to be 5 minutes from there, which gives me 10. So what I can then do is split this up. And then if I do 5 plus 5, which equals 10. So the lower quartile equals 10. Now what I need to do for the upper quartile well, I then need to find the area of bar. So you need to find out which bar the lower quartile person is in. So for the second bar, third bar rather, it's going to be 10 times 1.4, which is 14. And so looking at the cumulative total, I've got 8 plus 7, which is 15, plus 14, which gives me 29. And so I'm still needing more. So this one's going to be 15 times 1. So there's 15 people there. So from this, what I can then do is see how many more people I've got. So in the first three bars, I've got 29 people. So let me just write 29 there. And what I'm needing is four more people from this bar. So I'm needing four more people. And so I need to find out where along between 25 and 40 is the fourth person going to be. So again, looking at this bar, I've got a class width of 15 and I've got 15 people. So I do 15 divided by 15, multiply that by four and I get four. So what I then need to do is add four to this and I get 29. So therefore it's going to be the upper quartile is going to be 25 plus four, which is 29. Now for the interquartile range, which is what it's asking me to do, let's use a different color. So for the IQR, which is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile, it's going to be 29 minus 10, which gives me an answer of 19. And there we go. Then moving on to question five, it says the histogram gives information about the ages of 115 members of a social club. 80% of the members who are over 50 years old are female. Work out an estimate for the number of females uh, members who are over 50 years of age. So for this one, this one is we need to kind of work out a few more things before we actually get to the final answer. So let's have a look at the first bit of information. So first thing says that we've got 150 members altogether. And it says that 80% of the number of members who are over 50 are female. So what, let's work out this first. So we want to work out 80% of the members who are over 50. So let's first of all find 50 on our histogram, which is this line here. And this here, we need to work out the, air, the actual frequencies of those two sections of the histogram. We need to work out the area of this and we need to work out the area of this first. So let's just do that first. So this is going to be 1.1 multiplied by 10. That's 11. And this block here is going to be 30. Uh, sorry, the frequency is 0 0.6 multiplied by, or is it 0 0.6, 0 0.8 rather. And that's going to be multiplied by 30. So if I do 0 0.8 times 30, it gives me an answer of 24. So in terms of how many members are over 50, well, the number of members over 50 equals 25. Now it says 80% of those are female. So what I then need to do is work out 80% of uh, well, actually, it's going to be 35, not 25. Don't know where I've got that from. Just rub that out because I forgot that shouldn't be one. It should be 11. 
And so let me just rub that out. So it's going to be 80% of 35. And so that's just going to be 0 0.8 times 35. And that gives me an answer of 28. And there is my final answer for that one. So now let's have a look at question six. So question six says the histogram summarizes a health score of a group of people. Estimate the fraction of the group who had a score of 45 or more. So for this, what we need to do is to work out what, how many are in each bar. Uh, well, up to 45. So actually, let's just get to this. Now we want to work out 45. So 45 is going to be here. And what we are wanting is the grand total and how many are on the right hand side as it's more than of that red line. So let's start by working out the frequencies of all of the bars. So for this first bar, it's going to be 0 0.1 times 30, which is three. So that's three. Then this one here, well, each bar is going to represent one. So that's going to be four. This one is going to be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me just write that above actually, it's a bit easier to read. So three, four, eight, ten, and six. Now for this, what we then need to do, so the grand total is going to be three plus four plus eight plus ten plus six. So three plus four plus eight plus uh we do that again. 6 is going to give me 31. So then looking at this, well, we can split this in half as it is directly half. So that's going to be 4. And then we've got 10 plus 6. So more than 30. So 40, sorry, more than 45 or more is going to be 4 plus 10 plus 6, which gives me 20. So then the fraction is going to be 20 over 31. And there is my final answer. So now let's have a look at our last question. It says that the histogram gives information about a fitness club. All members are below 80 years old, 25 are below 20, nine members are above 65, and we need to complete the histogram. So for this, what we need to do know is that 80 is where it stops, so that's where that gives us. And we're going to use this second line to find the frequency density. So we know that there's 25 people in this block and we've got the class width. So here, if we look at the formula, so frequency density equals the frequency multiplied by the class width. Well, to do this, well, the frequency is 25. The class width is 20, which should be divided. I don't know why I put a times there. Um, let's put divide and so we're going to divide that by 20 so here the frequency density for this first block is going to be 25 divided by 20 which is 1.25 now because we've got five little marks there let's then just work through that so we've got divided by 5 equals 0.25 so this is going to be 0.25 that's going to be 5 that's going to be 0.75, 1, 1.25, 1 1.5, 1 1.75, and 2. So now once I've labeled my frequency density column, I now need to work out what the frequencies for each of these bars are going to be. Now for this one, every little box there represents 0 0.5. So this is going to be 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75, so that's 0 0.8, 0 0.85, 0 point. 1.9 so it's 1.9 multiplied by the class width which is 10 so that's going to be 19. For the third bar the frequency density goes up to uh, that would be 1.6 and that's got a class width of 10 so that's going to be 16. Then the fourth box well that's got a, free, a class width of 15 and a frequency density of 1.2 so it's going to be 1.2 times 25 rather than not 15. So 1.2 times 25 gives me 30. And it does say that nine members are above 65. So for that final group, I've got 65 to 80. That's got a frequency 
of 9 and a class width of 15. So then the frequency density is going to be 9 divided by 15. So 9 divided by 15 gives me an answer of 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 is going to be two boxes above. So that's going to be there. And then I should be using the ruler for this. And that should be there. And that's got 9. And there is our completed histogram with a bit of graffiti on top. So the next question then says work out the total. So that's going to be 25 plus 19 plus 16 plus 30 plus 9. So 25 plus 19 plus 16 plus 38 plus 9 gives me an answer. Oh, that's 30. Uh, so take away that should be not 38 plus 30 plus 9 gives me an answer of 99.